In this video, I will be comparing the two most popular mouse acceleration programs in existence right now, so you know which one to choose or if you should reevaluate your prior decision. The video has chapters, so you can navigate the content if needed, although I recommend watching the full video in order to make the best decision possible. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm a 19 year old guy from Germany called Felix. I also go by Wham Kabam and have been accumulating a little following through posting content about Rockstar and Custom Curve on TikTok. Through that, I have also been able to grow my Discord server to now over 22,000 members. Anyways, now to the good stuff. For all the people who are new to mouse acceleration or are just getting started, I'll do a quick recap and explain it again. For some reason, mouse acceleration has had a bad reputation as the number one thing people tell you when you get into gaming is to deactivate Windows mouse acceleration. In other words, enhance pointer precision. And don't get me wrong, they are right, it sucks. But through the association with Windows Enhanced Pointer Precision, it just kept a bad rep. And I have made it my mission to break that stereotype with my content on YouTube and TikTok. So let me explain what the actual proper and good mouse acceleration does. It comes in form of two programs, Rockcell and Custom Curve. What does it do exactly? Well, it increases and decreases your sensitivity relative to your mouse speed. So, if you move your mouse slowly, your sensitivity is low, and if you move it quicker, it increases. How much it can maximally increase, at what rate your sensitivity accelerates, and much more can be set in the programs. Windows Enhanced Pointer Position doesn't have any customizability and has a very inconsistent acceleration. If you translate this into an FPS game like Valorant, it basically means that you have a low sense for long range fights where you would usually move your mouse only slightly while also being able to do fast flicks, 180s and even 360s. Also note that if you run a mouse acceleration program, it will work on any game as, to put it in very untechnical terms, it only affects your mouse cursor, regardless of the game you are playing. A big misconception I've read too many times in my TikTok comments is that it ruins muscle memory completely, which is just false. Mouse acceleration is learnable and playable just like any other sensitivity, especially since you can adjust the acceleration exactly to your preference. Just as an example, here are a few players that use mouse acceleration. Noted, Sarah playing for Immortals, Zexro, and even Tense. As you can already guess, mouse acceleration is not bannable. Both Rockcell and Custom Curve are safe to use. That has also been confirmed by senior anti-cheat analyst over at Vanguard and the senior competitive designer of Valorant. Now to the different programs you can use for mouse acceleration. As I mentioned already, there's Rockcell and then there's Custom Curve. Contrary to popular belief, Custom Curve is the OG program of mouse acceleration. The first version of it came out in 2012 and the rework we know today published in early 2019, whereas the first version of Rockcell dates only to September of 2020. I don't want to rip open a rabbit hole and talk trash here, but the creators of Rockcell ripped off significant ideas and concepts from Custom Curve such as the anti-cheat system and the mouse meter functionality. But apart from this moral dilemma, I will now go into more detail about how both programs work and how they differ from one another. Rockcell is open source and has been around for about two years now. The way you create an acceleration graph is through putting integers for different curve types. There's linear, classic, jump, natural, motivity, power, and lookup table. Basically, you have to dive deep into what each graph type means and then try out numbers until it feels good. Custom Curve itself has two variants, the light edition and then pro. And before you click off thinking, oh my god, how does it cost money? Relax. It costs 10 bucks lifetime and without my code wham, it costs 15 bucks. It is run by one dude who is regularly updating the program, fighting against the callback titan. But other than that, I still think it's worth the money, solely for its features. Just functionality wise, the way you create curves is different and simpler. Instead of trying around with integers, you can just graphically adjust the curve to your wanting, by setting points and dragging them around or giving them specific coordinates. Other than that, there are 10 presets for you to try out if you want to, so you can get a feel for different acceleration graphs. Also, if you find something you like but want to keep experimenting, it lets you save different profiles while keeping it easy to switch in between them with keybinds. Moreover, you're able to import curves and settings from other players by simply loading their C curve file. And if you like it pink, you can make it pink. 
In all seriousness though, there are many other useful features, such as the history graph, which helps you to understand your aiming behaviors and patterns in order to readjust and tune your curve more efficiently. So to recap, Rockstyle is free and open source, but is limited to its seven curve types, making it more cumbersome to use. Custom Curve Pro costs $10 and has ridiculously more features than Rockcell and is intuitively easier to use. The limited version lets you create and customize your own curve with up to 5 different points. Both programs can run in the background without being opened, but Rockcell needs to be started every time when you switch on your PC. Both are safe to use as Rockcell copied their anti-cheat from Custom Curve. So which program should you use and should you make a switch? Well, if you have found your perfect settings with Rockcell and don't plan on switching them up much, there's no point in spending those $10 since the acceleration itself, if both programs have the same settings, has no difference. But if you are new to mouse acceleration and don't have your optimal curve yet and just want to mess around in general, I think Custom Curve is the way to go. Custom Curve is also the better alternative for more experienced players, since the possibilities are basically endless and the tools make editing your curve fast and seamless. And if you can't spare the $10, the light version gives you enough room to experiment a little bit with those 5 points. You can also upgrade at any time. You can download Custom Curve at mouseacceleration.com and get $5 off with my code WAM. You can get Rockcell at GitHub. Both are linked in the description. If you have any questions about either Rockcell or Custom Curve, you can join my Discord at discord.gg forward slash wham. We have compiled tons of resources to help you out with troubleshooting, general knowledge and more. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you a bit more insight into both programs. Again, I want to emphasize that no matter what program you use, you are still loved. Please subscribe for more relevant content and like the video. It would help me out a ton and cater to the algorithm so more people can see this video. And I'll be very happy.